All right. Well, good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm here with Chitang with Brainwire, and I would love to take this opportunity to have you introduce yourself and your guest. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you for inviting us in Udu. It has been a wonderful experience and conference for us so far, and I'm excited for next two days, and hopefully it should be good. Uh, just to give you idea about myself, uh, I am Chintan Shah, CEO and founder of a company Brainwire Infotech. We are an IT consulting company focused on digital transformation journey, located in seven countries, uh, close to 700 people, uh, focusing on uh, IT consulting, uh, custom solutions, internet, web and mobile application development. And I have my partner, Mr. Sachin, uh, one of the Easylytics, which is the analytics as a managed solution company that we acquired. And it's a part of a Brainwire group. And we offer a wonderful analytics solution on top of Udu, and which I wanted everyone to be aware. So I will ask him to give a little bit of introduction. Sure, so Sachin. Yeah. Sure, thank you. Uh, it's a great conference, by the way. I love the keynote speak and about Udu 13. I think that's wonderful uh, what the changes that they've made in Udu 13. Uh, again, I'm Sachin Bakai. I'm the CEO of Easylytics, and we offer managed analytics as a service, especially for the mid-market companies who cannot justify to have an in-house analytics team. Mm. So we have a fully integrated solution with Udu, and we have uh, several live clients who are actually leveraging our solution uh, with Udu. And we wanted to offer this to other Udu partners as well. Uh, so that in addition to brain wire, our solution can be offered by other partners mm. as well. That's an ex very interesting point. <clears throat> How important is analytics and data in today's marketplace? Well, we are flooded with data, right? Everything we do, we're collecting data all over the place. But the problem is, uh, the amount of data we have, it's not meaningful. Mm. So our goal is to make sure that the data is meaningful where the companies can identify outliers and take quick actions. And uh, the goal is to help actually enhance the whole Udu experience, right? You have invested so much money in an ERP like Udu, but if you can enhance it by getting meaningful information out of your ERP investment, uh, that actually adds a lot of value. And tell me more a little bit about who are your customers? Who, who Who's your typical customer? I know you mentioned mid-market, but are there any sectors in particular that you target? Well, we focus, right now we are focusing on manufacturing, distribution, and retail. Okay. okay. And within those companies, actually, uh, it's across the board, and from the VP of sales to the CFO to the CEO, information is needed at every stage of the company. Mm. So we actually have dashboards that actually cater to different roles, and so that they can take advantage and actually do the job better. That's, that's what our goal is. That's excellent. I feel that data is now becoming in the forefront of exactly. decision making in many aspects of business, whereas before it was more of an extra or a, a nice to have. Right. I think nowadays we're moving to an Must indispensable to part of any business decision. Right. And also with, with the acquisition with BrainWire, it actually puts BrainWire in a different platform. Now it makes them very unique, makes us very unique mm -hmm. because no other partner are offering this thing mm -hmm. and we just don't want to keep the solution to us. We are actually open to helping other partners leverage this situ solution as well. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's fantastic. So we are already in discussion with Udu how to make sure that this app is available in the App Store mm. with some special preference or privileges to sure. make sure that it's available for all the partners and ultimately to help all the customers. That's fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much for your sure. contribution. Yeah. Um, tell me a little bit about your journey. You're in seven countries, 700 <coughs> people worldwide. How did it all begin? It's 18 years old journey. Uh, started with like, you know, as a serial entrepreneur, I sold a couple of my companies in the past. So first was into mobile apps development and second was IT consulting company. So two of my companies in the past I sold and BrainWire started around six years back. Uh, it's a 700 people group, but when you consider from an Indian size perspective, we are one of the small tiny. Right. One of the 100 or one of the 150. So goal is to become one of the 10. And that's the aim that we are moving towards. But from a journey perspective, it has been started with uh, web and mobile solutions mm -hmm. from offshore development, which was one of the common goal every company wanted to achieve. 
and then we learned from that and then we came from a model from offshore to on-site offshore with a near-shore combination mm -hmm. and that's what the journey that has been. It was pure of a development shop to start with and then we moved towards a business consulting, IT consulting. First we started with consulting approach and then ultimately implementing the solution for that. That's fantastic. Yeah. And we know that entering a new market presents its own challenges. I agree. What would you say are the main challenges in in the American market for a brand new partner? So I will say that every country will have all its own different challenges. Mm -hmm. And especially in the US, each region has its own challenges. Of course. Whether you talk about East Coast, whether you talk about Midwest, or whether you talk about West Coast. So yes, the challenges are going to be there. And I think most uh, challenges is going to be the customer references, mm -hmm. uh, a sound implementation with some local knowledge about that business or about that state or about that uh, local geography. Those are some of the key challenges which are going to be there. Being 18 years in business, served in the US market for the last 14 years, it has become a little bit easy entry point for us. Mm -hmm. But when we enter into a different market, so just to answer, recently we signed up with the Udu partnership in Middle East. Wow. So we are partner in the US, we are moving, progressing very fast in the US to become a gold now within first one year. Now, we started a Middle East market from a partnership perspective with Udu. So Middle East comes with its own challenges. Right. The market works in a slow way. You need to be very close to the customers. You need to meet them few times before the deal sign. It requires some level of personalization. Mm -hmm. So you have to adapt to each and every different uh, region and different uh, geography. So I think so that learning some local skills and hiring some local team is one of the important things which Absolutely. comes into picture, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And, and just to add, I think Brain Buyer has done a phenomenal job in building the culture, and that is extremely important uh, to the entire organization, and, and the goal is to add value and the growth will follow, right? So that's what we focus on in adding value to the clients, and the growth is going to naturally follow. Absolutely. I think culture is something that is so instrumental. If people that you're working with know that their consultants are happy or that they love where they work, that's going to show in sure. the deliverables. For yeah. so I think we believe in making people happy. So w one of the other thing which I missed out and you said that what it makes difference, we make sure that our team travel to each of the location of our customers. So they understand the local culture, they understand the people, they understand the customer and then they implement. So that is one of the core importance that we do in any implementation project or any project that we do implementation. We will have our team coming a couple of times to your location, understand mm -hmm. your business, understand your problem, and making sure that we implement in the right way. That's awesome. Yeah. I know that there's a lot of uh, planning that goes into growth. You have tremendous momentum right now. Within the leadership, how do you keep that momentum going? And what is in the future for BrainWire in terms of opening up offices and your continued growth? So I think one of the things that we believe is like, you know, that promoting the people to the leadership law. Nowadays, people, like the team, it's a human resource, they don't only look for the job, they look for the opportunity where they can not only grow moment, monetarily, but how they can have their personal growth and how they will have professional growth. And that we emphasize big on in BrainWire. We make sure that each and every team member will have their personal growth people who are at a leadership skills or people who have those type of skills, we promote them very quickly. Make sure they have, they have a right opportunity and right uh, type of uh, skills and right type of opportunity available for them to grow. So that is one of the important things that we are doing from a leadership perspective. Plus we have a local CEO, local team, local presence in each of geography mm -hmm. to make sure that the growth become easy and it become self-motivated. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's fantastic. If you can give one piece of advice for a new partner who's just starting, they bought a partnership today, if one piece of advice, what would it be? I will say that uh, know about Udu well, make sure that you understand your customer's need and have one or two successful implementation, the rest will follow by itself. Make sure, so that's the key piece of advice. Make sure that the successful implementation, one or two, and in that implementation, make sure you understand the customer need and implement in the right way. 
Excellent. That's Excellent. what happened for BrainWire. We started a year and a half back. We started with a part basic partnership. We become silver in first four months. Mm -hmm. We are on our way to become a gold now. And we are seeing like, you know, every week we are signing up a new customer. So I was just talking to Lee and Lee was saying that with the brain wire it's quick and easy that every second week we'll have some new invoicing going out. That's fantastic. Or some new quotation. That's excellent momentum with you guys. Yeah. And you deserve all of the accolades for being so successful and continuing that, that growth and, and I momentum. think it's a both way. So one is definitely that we are trying hard, but second is about the Udu as a solution. It's open source, mm -hmm. it's flexible, it's scalable, and Udu comes up with such a nice new versions and new features, mm -hmm. and it's a warm community. So like, you know, Udu talks to our customer every month. Mm -hmm. So that gives them a feeling that it's not yeah. about when you're signing up the customer, you're talking. Right. You're also talking afterwards every month, every alternate month, you're talking and getting a feedback. If partner is doing wrong, then we make sure that it's done in the right way. If customer is unhappy, then let's do something. So that's where I think the Udu is doing a great job from that perspective. And we are very happy with that's it. That's good to know. Yeah. That's good to know. What is your most successful implementation or your, the implementation you're most proud of? I will say three we are proud of. Okay. So I want to take <laughs> not one, <laughs> but three. <laughs> So one of them is a true omni-channel implementation. That's what we did with a company in Buffalo, Tent and Table, mm -hmm. 15 years old business. They tried with different ERPs, Boost My Shop, Sales Wrap, couple of other ERPs, and they have failed miserably. Uh, they were not able to make it successful. They have a four different uh, uh, business line, four different websites, plus 15 different business channel. All of them has to be integrated with a single ERP. Uh, so this, they sell on a 15 marketplace, plus their own mm -hmm. e-commerce mm -hmm. and a back-end ERP, plus they sell on the lot of trade shows. So that is where I think with Udu flexibility was one of the successful implementation. The client is Tent and Table, and they have a division called uh, uh, Tent and Table and uh, Zoom Blower. So these are like you know a couple of other brands there, Pogo Bounce House, Party Tents and Direct. So these are some of the companies they have that. Second implementation, which we are very proud of, is replacing Salesforce with Udu. Mm. And we did a big press release for the same. Wow. So it's a San Francisco based company, Bailaram Medical, five years into Salesforce, 80 users, <coughs> struggling with Salesforce implementation in a perfect way for their complex business scenario, which is into a recurring business and a recurring payment. And that is where the Udu fits well and from an implementation perspective. So it was a journey of a six month to convince them that Salesforce is not good and they are struggling and they, are, they know they are struggling yeah. <coughs> to make sure that we replace that. So that's another one. And third, I will say it's a diamond and jewelry company based out of Houston, Brian Gavin Diamonds. Mm. And they had a very complex business structure and that was another successful implementation that we did. What was the complexity in that business? So I will say that the complexity of that business was that each diamond is unique. Sure. So they consider as a single SKU. So they talk about a 5 million SKUs. Wow. Plus they have a real time diamond rates change on a daily basis. The gold rate change on a daily basis. So you need to aware that when you procure the goods, what was your pricing? What is the current pricing? Based on that, what is the difference of margin? Because your stock <coughs> pricing, if you keep a stock for a month, your pricing will change based on the metal price and based on the gold price and based on the diamond pricing. And then they sell online. So how to bundle those certain type of products together, sell online. So we used a Magento from an e-commerce piece and a backend was into a Udu and they were doing a custom design. So that was a custom implementation for each and every product. And after you buy a product, you have a multiple interaction with the customer before the, the final product manufacturing happen. You sell the engraving, then you give them a design, then you give a, them a final product design, and then you ultimately do the manufacturing and then you do a shipment. And before that, also the pricing change. Mm -hmm. So shopping cart, which you paid at the start, may not be the final shopping cart. So that was a lot of customization required. So we used a Udu CRM in a big way to communicate with the customer <coughs> and communicate within the local manufacturing team. And the CRM piece was one of the key things and that's where the complexity was. Wow. Yeah. So I'm sure discovering that complexity and having those conversations are pretty intense. Yes. How do you set expectations 
with customers like this Diamond customer, with high levels of complexity and their implementation. So our approach is a little bit different. So we generally go from a business consulting perspective. Mm -hmm. So we have around 20% uh, of our workforce, close to around 100 plus people, we just focus on business consulting. Okay. So for any customer, first we go from uh, what is your business, what is your need, what is your requirement, then try to map that requirement with uh, Udu or Magento, whatever the solutions that mm -hmm. is best fitted. Make sure that we give them few demos, try to map each and every module with each and every requirement do a good requirement analysis and requirement gathering phase, and after that, blueprinting sign-off, which is one of the key things that we do it out. Mm. So from a standard ERP implementation perspective, initial analysis, requirement gathering, blueprint sign-off, and then keeping agile methodology, so that each and every module in an ERP that you develop, you show that to the customer, get the feedback, show to the right type of users, and work towards that. With Udu, open source type of community and plug and play type of module, it become easy mm. compared to other ERPs. So that is where it benefits a lot. And who is in the room? Who are, who are you having that conversation with uh, in, these, in these types of companies? So typically we believe that the people on the ground are the one which are going to be actually making the difference because they are the one who are going to use the system and they are the one who will say it is successful or a failure. So typically, CEOs and the CXO level people wants to get involved, mm -hmm. but we say that we typically make sure that each and every department head and couple of department users are used. So for example, from a sales perspective, head of sales, and maybe a one sales manager, uh, from an inventory perspective, inventory manager, uh, from accounting perspective, head of account and account manager, uh, from a ticketing or a support perspective, the support manager and our team behind them. So generally we have those team available, Plus, we have a stakeholder which can be the CXO level people either from uh, our, our company or from a customer perspective as well. So we typically believe in that. We make sure that they are the one who sign off the requirement, they are the one who sign off the blueprint, mm -hmm. and they are the one who sign off the final training before the implementation or a go live. Excellent. Yeah. And what, uh, what sectors do you primarily focus in? So I will say that retail is one of our core focus. Okay. So we'll say that retail, uh, in retail, of course, we touch manufacturing, we touch distribution, we touch uh, logistic to some level because nowadays logistic is also a part of it. So those are some of the key verticals, I mean from a vertical focus. And in retail, of course, we have an industry-specific solution for a lifestyle product, health and beauty, uh, logistic, uh, diamond and jewelry, automobile. These are some of our segments where we have expertise in. And that sounds like a pretty wide portfolio of, of businesses. Where are you going? Where is BrainWire going to be in five years? And uh, maybe with verticals or new types of customers, where do you see yourselves? Yeah, so I mean, uh, with acquisition of Easilitex, so product and services is what, the mix of product and service is what we, our company should drive towards in the next five years. And so we want, 60% uh, of the revenue comes from the product and 40% should come from the services. So product can be the Udu, implementing the Udu can be one of the product implementation, Easilytics or something. So product is something that we are moving towards that direction. Mm -hmm. And from a sizing perspective, we want to become, remember as a niche IT consulting company, where we implement the digital journey for the organization. We want to be remembered from that perspective. Uh, we are looking at from five years from now, should be a global leader in a consulting shop from an IT perspective, that's what we'll be aiming towards that, yeah. Well, gentlemen, I wish you all of the success in your growth. Um, it's an exciting time to be a part of Odoo. It's an exciting yes. time to be uh, with BrainWire. And is this your first time in San Francisco, Chitan? No, this will be my 25th time in San Francisco. 25th time yeah. in San Francisco, <laughs> okay. But, uh, <clears throat> well, what is your favorite part of the city? Uh, the favorite part of city, I will say that when you drive through the 101 and when you see that Google and Facebook and LinkedIn and uh, those campuses comes and then you see all those companies, it gives a lot of motivations and it thrives to how we can achieve that goal wow. or at least give, it keep you motivated. Yeah. Well, you're an ambitious man and I admire yeah. that ambition. <laughs> uh, I wish you all the success 
Thanks again for being here at Odoo Connect 2019 in the beautiful city of San Francisco. Um, you are having a talk, I believe. Yes. Tomorrow. A uh, day after tomorrow. The day after on, uh, Thursday. Omni Channel, yeah, Omni Channel experience with using Odoo. So a couple of our customers where we have implemented. So the talk is going to be more or less what we have implemented. Perfect. We want to make sure that other partners and customers are aware that how Omnichannel can be integrated using Udo in a quick, easy and simple way. Fantastic. And in fact, one of our customers is here and he is also speaking as well a day after tomorrow. Okay. Uh, Tendent table, yeah. Well, I look forward to seeing your talk. Yeah. Thank you gentlemen again Thank for you, being yeah. here and much success. Thank you. Thank you for inviting us. Of Thank course, you. my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.